first cut. It's going to be in the bottom. Second cut behind the gill plate. Both sides. Oops. I want to get some water. And we can just this down the table. The aqua does have a lot of blood. Okay, once you got the head off, you're going to go ahead and, um, this part's really tough, so you're going to make sure that you can scrape off the scales sometimes. Um, you're going to make a cut all the way down to the spine over here. You're going to make another cut all the way down over here, which I already did. And then uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take it, take it off. And it's a lot easier when you're doing smaller fish. And it gets a little bit more difficult when you do a lot larger fish like this. Right now we, we're going to cut the bone up. So if you're in Hawaii, people love aqua bone. It's hard to even find a store because the fisherman keeps it. So if you get a nice cleaver, put your knife, you can actually uh, uh, cut it up. You don't have to use too much force. So I'm actually just putting it in, making a little dent, and then I'm actually breaking it. It's good to have a scissors. Flip it, same side. And then put that with scissors so you don't have to mangle the meat. So there's your aqua bone. You go ahead and uh, throw some pepper and salt on it and fry it up in oil. All right, now that we got the halves over here, we're gonna um, quarter them up. So this belly right here is really good for bait. So we wanna actually save that. What we're going to do is go right down the middle. It's good to have a scissors to get through the skin. And we'll do the same thing to the other side. When they get this big, the skin's really, really tough. There you go. Is everybody ready?